Shalom family, most high in Christ bless you all. I just want to show you guys a uh, updated or up close tour of our little garden. This is a little tomato plant that Adam, and y'all hear Adam in the back. This is a tomato plant that we planted from seed and it's doing pretty good. We had transplanted, it was struggling in the beginning, but then I trimmed some of the leaves at the bottom and then it started to bounce back and these are i think these are yeah bean plants there are bean pole plants now y'all let me tell you what i did i kind of put a lot of beans in there but my plan is to kind of have them trail a little bit up that way uh-uh and -uh. nylon hold on y'all adam is doing the pooper scooper for the the doggy adam wait for joshua and this is our baby nilo okay anyways i'm planning to trail this up this way i'm gonna lords will build a little trellis back here and then this is our little flowers to bring some pollinators these were struggling i don't know how they survived but they were struggling in the beginning and because we have no trees back here at all and i think it was really hot but they're starting to bounce back i've been coming out here and giving them lots and lots of water to keep them hydrated and they're coming back so i'm happy about that now this is our spinach i don't have anything popping up yet so if you guys can give me some tips sister laura i don't know what's going on but nothing has popped up yet i'm about to clean it out and put something else because nothing is happening yet and this is our ghost pepper that I transplanted. We started indoor. I'm so happy about this one because I transplanted, I think it was four of them. Two of them did not make it, but these two did, and they are thriving. Like they are growing. And these are baby tomatoes. Which one? Yeah, one of the, this is what Adam's talking about. One of the flowers popped this open the other day. But these are coming along. These are ghost peppers. And I'm using that square foot method book that I have posted on what plants to put next to each other. So that's what I'm doing here. And then we have a sweet potato plant that Nilo keeps trying to eat. And I've been trying to trail it up because Nilo down there is trying to eat it. I'm constantly having to buzz him so he won't go near the plants. And this is another um, baby tomato that's coming along very well. Very well. Some of these plants, we had, we transplanted them from seed. And then this is our watermelon. And we have two flowers. Mama. Yes, Josh. Hey, I mean, Adam. Hey, no, leave the grass alone. It's going to catch. We just got to water it. We just put some sod down in some part of the yard and he's talking about his dad. I'm like, nope, it's going to Mama. come on. Thank you, but call Joshua to help. I did. Okay, and over here, guys, this is supposed to be our lettuce bed. And again, nothing is happening. So I don't know if anyone um, grew lettuce, if you can tell us what would be best because nothing is happening. And I'm about to clear out this bed and do something else. And then here's another plant that's struggling, but I separated it from the other plants because I feel like it has some bug infestation going on. So the other day we put some seven dust on it, which I'm about to rinse off. I don't know if you guys can see that to kill some of the, I think we have flea beetles because I noticed some of the leaves like was doing this right here. You see all those holes on there. So I said, and then the eggplants, some of them were not, they're doing this. So I separated it from, we have two other eggplant, a mini eggplant in the front. Mama, what, Adam? There's, um, a, don't, there's a poop that Nigel just ate. Okay, leave that one alone because you got to wait for it to dry. Look behind you. Okay, and then, um, I forgot what I was saying. We separate this from the other eggplants. We have two oh. in the front porch, a mini eggplant, and then the Black Beauty eggplant. I separated this I because I think this one has some type of infestation, so... We separate that one and trying to see what it's going to do. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Adam. And then over here, this is the flower bed that I posted from Walmart. This was 89 bucks, and you can configure it. Okay, put it right there for, for Joshua. You can configure it however you like. 
And in here, we have some, um, what you call it, um, banana peppers, some hot banana peppers, and then some lunch box, which these we did not plant from seed. These we bought from Walmart, and then we kind of transplanted them. Now, what I'm noticing, what pepper plants do, because I'm learning this as we go along, what I'm noticing, pepper plants, when they, they don't like to be transferred. Whenever they get transferred, they start to do this little white thing on it. The other pepper plant on the other side did the same thing, and then it bounced back, the one that I'll show you, the ghost peppers. So I'm realizing, I'm going to look it up, because I'm realizing that pepper plants don't like to be transplanted, or they take a while to adjust, and then they bounce back. So that's that, and then let me walk over here. And this one is our little grapefruit trees that the birds um, put their little droppings. So I'm going to rinse that off this morning. And then our little avocado tree. And then back there is our um, lime tree. Yeah. So that's what we have so far. And I'll show you guys the front in a little bit. Oh, I forgot. We have the little blueberry Mama, plant right here. And then the, the little pineapple. The Thank you, Adam. Close the door. The little pineapple plant that we got from um, Walmart. So that's what we have in the backyard and I'm planning to add some more things. So I'll keep you guys posted. How's your garden doing, sis? Shalom.